Little do they know what fires these hands have endured! And Asa! So we meet again. Like I said before, find more of those embers and I, or some other smith, can use them to make you something special. You seem ill at ease with your kinfolk here. Mush-minded fools, carousing and singing while the realm falls to ruin beyond our doors. I made weapons for warriors once, not spoons for gluttons. In greater days, we were a mighty folk, making up in ingenuity what we lacked in stature. But we loved too well the things we made and turned our eyes inward. When the enemy came, all our hammers and axes mattered nothing. For the strength of heart to wield them had been lost. I'll come back later. <laughs> Miss me, you steam and stack of shit! Uh, untie me and I'll let this slide. And believe me, you, you wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Got a garb on, a meanie. Be a shame if someone put an arrow through it. You're lucky they were terrible archers. Aye, and I'm lucky you're a far better fighter than these pieces of shit, High One. A fine display of your prowess. If you'll permit me, I'd repay your kindness. But these bastards burnt my pack to ashes. Stop by the Jordegger shelter, and I'll find you something. Should I find myself there, then why not? If you seek a more formidable foe, this lot were saying their leader's not far. Reckon you could do us all some good and get rid of them. They kept saying something about two golden peaks in the east. Must be somewhere between them, I guess. Between two golden peaks in the east. Most curious. Aye. Well, you find them, you send my regards, yes? And by regards, I mean you lop off their head, yes? <laughs> in any case, find me at the Ordegger shelter. Can't promise I'll be sober, but it'd be good to see you again. Another clue. I think I know of where they speak. What? Dark spirits torment this land.
can use this to lessen the rate of our scars. it with your life, but why do you only have
Nice change of scenery. Fewer arrows. Hi, one! You found your way to our little slice of paradise. Come, come! I have something for you. For saving my life. Yes, a fine way to ignore the world outside, eh? Thank you. I can put this to good use. Gems, have you? Here, more gemstones for your collection. You're very useful for a foreigner. I'll see what I can find for you. Close my eyes, I can imagine I am back in my favorite tavern. off-limits.
malevolence. This land bears deep affliction. <sighs> Guards here are vigilant. Finish! <laughs> 
embarrassed. If you lost the key, just say so. I'm not bloody embarrassed. It's like I said, the damn fish took it from me. You were robbed by a fish. Come on, get serious. I am serious. So what? The fish reached into your pocket and just took the key. What? Oh, don't be stupid. I uh, uh, gave it the key. You gave our key to a fish? An exceedingly persuasive fish, yes. But you want it back, you go talk to it. Oh, look. You there. What's this of a fish-based robbery? According to my brother here, the damned fish that guards these waters has now taken to petty theft. Guards these waters? Surely a terrifying creature of the deep. All teeth and tentacles and eyes all over its monstrous head, yes? Challenge fit for the Lord of Asgard. No, no. Just a normal, you know, fish. But huge, at least, yes? No, not especially. But it is cunning. No dwarf has caught a fish here in months, and all because of that one fish. Indeed. And what of the theft? It managed to charm our hard-fought key right out of my stupid brother's pocket, he reckons. It was most persuasive. Listen, stranger. Catch this fish, you can keep our key, and the treasure it unlocks. We just want that one fish gone. What do you say? Perhaps. Let us see what this beast is capable of. Us? Oh, no. I'm staying well away. You want it, you get it. I'm off. Yeah, there must be somewhere decidedly less dangerous to go fishing. Come, fearsome creature of the depths! No more shall you torment those who visit these waters. Face your end at the hands of the High One! <clears throat> Have at you! My mouth! What are you playing at? You don't see me barging into Asgard and dragging you out of your house? So, not a fish at all. No, and not an enemy. I was there when you came to Jotunheim and drank enough mead to kill a man. I saw what you did to Sutunger that day. Damn near beating him to a pulp single-handedly. Only a fool would challenge you. But you have bested me fairly when no other could. And believe me, many have tried. You want this key, I assume? That, and for you to leave these waters? That I will not do. I have made a home here. Dwarves repeatedly intrude, make attempts on my life, and those of my aquatic neighbors. I won't stand for it. So I impede them, harming nothing but their pride. I dare say you would defend your lands from invaders more vigorously. Aye, I would. I see your point. As strange as this all may seem. Then have your prize, and I shall have mine. Life as a fish is full of wonder. You'd never imagine. So I shall protect these waters for as long as I live. <laughs> Very well. After all that... Let's hope this chest was worth the bother. 
feels strange having legs again. I just want to swim in peace. No concerns, no burdens. Just movement. Oh. I found the most remote lake in Svartalheim, and yet dwarves flock here like there are no invaders in their lands. <laughs> 